Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Truck 2. Last time, we made it here to Greystone. Well, now let's uh, see what we can do about make, making it back out. It's pretty much the reverse of coming in, but it's a little different, and I'll show you. Um, yes, I'm going to take that uh, container behind us. But first, you always pick up, if you're going to do a mix of the depot load plus the container, you always pick up the one from the depot first. So let's get whatever's worth the most, because that container's, let's see, 17. 19. That container is going to Mercury, which means pretty much anywhere we're going except North Harbor or St. Helena, um, it's fine it, because it's right in the middle of the map. We're, we'll be going through it no matter what. Oh, it's going to Foothill. That's right. Well, and then in that case, that works too. That, that does in fact work. That was going to Mercury. Anyway, uh, there. So, what that means, since we're going to Foothill and Southgate, is we get to take the tunnels. I wasn't going to show that off yet, because I thought that was going to be hard but... Anyway, you see everybody else is making new turns and heading back out. We're not going to do that. We're too cool for that. And uh, we need repairs, which is why it's so good that there's a repair station right here. Otherwise, it would really suck having to make your way all the way out the Greystone area through all this uh, dirt roads and stuff, well, just dirt areas, uh, without your repairs. That would really suck. Excuse me, that's still the crappy horn. Actually, I like that horn better than the upgraded one, but it's the only, it's a really good way to know whether or not my upgrades are working. Now, I took a notch of damage, and... Off and back on. There you go. Now, we've already got two loads in our truck. Wow! Somebody followed me over here? Huh. They must have gone the long way around. I don't think the computer would ever try to sneak by that leak. Battery followed me. Oh well. Anyway, we've already got a double load. I'll show you how heavy we are. See, we're way over heavy. So, oh, here we make a right, not a left. I think. <laughs> I've done this in a while, but I think I'm right. Yeah. And, but, um, that's weird. That guy followed me over there. But we're already double loaded, so we're not going to be able to pick up another container. And is he following me this way? Yeah, he is. Oh, great. I'm teaching the AI the shortcuts now. But anyway, right here where it looks like a dead end up to the right, it is, but we turn left here. And, uh, I'll show you. Now, this kind of leads out to a lake here, so you got to be a little careful. There's going to be a lake right up here in front of us, I think. Yeah. But if you make a hard left here, carefully, it's really not that bad. I've done it with trailers a lot. Alongside the lake, and in this little pocket here, this is a hidden spot. Now this used to always, always be a fuel depot for me. You know, one of those little fuel hidden fuel tanks. This time it's not. This time it's just empty. But I wanted to show you this spot, because a lot of times show you the map you can see my red dot where I am there's usually a fuel spot there which is nice because a lot of times like if you come in uh, fresh start up the game in Greystone you're only gonna start with uh, half a gas tank maybe or if you uh, transfer to one of your other players oh, and here you're gonna kind of make it right here you could go around this rock to the left too it doesn't really matter I always go up through here but anyway, you, you could be transferring to another player or whatever, and you only got half your fuel. It's nice to have a fuel spot there, but you don't. At this little spot right here, this little straightaway here, 
It's the only real part that I actually drive on the regular road. Like, see, I'm actually on the green road on the map. Right here, and there's a lake there. And up in between these rock uh, outcroppings here, or whatever you want to call it, a little canyon. Uh, if you want to stay on the main road with the AI, you make a right, but I've never, I never do that. I mean, I've tried it once or twice. It is so hard to try to stay on the correct road on the map. But if you just make a left here, it, it's a lot easier. Now, after you make this left, it, you start doing the alternating things just like how we came in, left and right and left right. Unless you want to find specific things, but actually I guess I can show that off. There's two containers here. And that's going to be on the left. Uh, up in there. Right there. Up and over this little hill. There's two spots like this. There's this spot and there's one up near the tunnel that's just like this. See, there's two containers in here. Nice. And, but uh, we're not going to be able to pick them up. Because, oh. Yeah. Yeah, see the weight zero and volume zero? That means we're overloaded. We can't pick it up. That's mercury. That's Westwood. Nice. Yeah, we can't pick it up. And um, and then back behind us more, you could sneak around in some really hilly stuff and sometimes get a fuel tank, but not this time. Which means eventually there might be yet another container there. So anyway, from here, uh, I think I'm going to go around that rock. Nope. <laughs> oh, you can see me fail. Oh, get out of there. Control five shift there. Oh, there was, um... <laughs> that was free recover. That was nice. That was nice, yeah. And when you use free recover in uh, our truck to here in this area by Greystone, um, there's only a few different places where it'll put you, so you have to kind of do a crazy, crazy Ivan and s spin around and figure out where you are. Like, I think I'm right outside where I came from, I think. Um, right. That was pretty good. So, um, that little spot that I was showing off, you don't go left, you go right, obviously left is the lake. <laughs> well, let's just follow that guy. I'll figure it out. Sometimes you just kind of have to bumble around a little bit. Alright. See, I'm way over here. Which is good. It's kind of like where I go. And look, this Volvo is going my route. I can't believe it. I've, I've never seen that before. See, right is a dead end, so we go left. I just realized I'm pointing the wrong way, mirror image and all. But, uh, yeah. Let's go where I say, not where I point. Or, if, in this case, follow this guy. Although we could have made a hard right there. It doesn't really matter that much. It's just a little bit of a shortcut to make a hard right there. Yeah, this is this is the right track now. I can't believe this guy is going my whole route. Right off the bat. He has something to do with the rare trucks being available. I don't know. Anyway, here's the tunnel. Is he gonna go through the tunnel? Well, if you if you hang a right here, it takes you up to the main road, but he is going through the tunnel. Wow. This is this is definitely a first. And, um, he didn't realize you have a sharp right-hand turn there. Great, now I gotta follow this guy through. Well, I'm sure he's going the right way, but maybe not the fastest way. There's a few different ways through this tunnel. Yeah, you really do have to make this left-hand turn. It's alternating turns. Like, we made a right as soon as we first came in, now we make a left. As soon as you see an intersection. 
Although you can go straight down that way for a while. And if the way's not blocked, it's okay, but sometimes it's blocked. And then see, we had to make a right there. And here we should have to make a left. Oh, we have a choice, but we're going to make a left. There, there's kind of a few different ways through, but this is the safest, I think, and probably the shortest. Now, that was a forced right, so that means this is a left. Yeah. Coming up this way, out, is easier than coming in. Coming in, you know, from the wind cliff end. Not wind cliff, it's from the foothill end, I mean. It's, it's actually kind of easy to make a mistake and end up going in circles and coming back out the same way you can win in. This, because you you get to that point where you're making the alternating turns. Okay, it's not always alternating because their left was a dead end. But uh, you get to that point where we had to make those alternating turns, and sometimes you can circle around, or sometimes something's blocked, depending on if the road by River Valley is blocked or not. Okay. Crap. I hope that was right. I think that was wrong because that doesn't look right. But anyway, anytime you see an intersection like that, where it's a lot easier to turn one way or the uh, instead of the other, it, go the easier route. Okay, that was a left. I think I botched this. But I think coming out, it doesn't really matter much. This way. Pay attention good enough, I guess. Yeah, now we're kind of into like the side roads, the darker rock a little bit. It's kind of like a whole network. See, I might have been able to turn left there, but it was a lot easier to turn right, so that's what I did. Let's see if we loop around and we ha make mistake number two. Yeah, that, that was it for the sharp T, T uh, intersection type turns. That was just in the beginning. I think we're going... I think as long as I keep heading downhill, that's good. Yeah, heading south, so starting from the foothill end, it's uphill and heading north, it's downhill. There it is. You pretty much always have to come to a complete stop to make this turn, just because you're coming down that big hill. Am my life... Okay, and this is the foothill end of the tunnel. Now the way this works is you can go either left or right here, it's just a big loop. And uh, as you can see the terrain is pretty rough. You're kind of up on... The, up on a ridge. It's tricky. And pulling a, a trailer through here is fun. But the, And then you go through here, and it's the same thing. It's another big loop. Um, but it's easier to turn one way or another, so we're going to make a right here so that we come out facing towards Foothill. See, it's easier to make the left. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter there. We're in a container truck, so we can just bounce around. It doesn't matter that much. See, we would have come out either way. It's just like two big circles, kind of. And now you just stay on like the main road here. This is also the dirt road. I'll show you where we are. Outside of Foothill. That you have to take to go around that cave area that sometimes caves in on the main road. Yeah, that overhang that sometimes blocks the road by the tunnel between Foothill and River Valley. So you gotta take this dirt road around it. That's how I found the tunnel originally. A long time ago. Okay. Good. Yeah, it might be a good idea to get on the right side of the road as soon as you come out of there. 
<laughs> so anyway, so we're going to uh, foothill, right? Yeah. <laughs> went for it anyway because I knew I wasn't getting around it. This was the tree on the other side anyway. I forgot about that spot. I'll remember things eventually. Anyway, um, you can hang a right and fly off the cliff and make like a little U-turn, but usually you hit somebody along the way which pisses off the helicopter makes you stop for a ticket or you just flip over and have to reflip so it, it's really not worth it just go around the bend. See that's where we came from. And right up here is foot. Now the way this works with the uh, hidden containers and the depot it's the reason why you, you pick up the hidden container first, and then the one from the depot, as long as they're pretty close together. Oh, scratch that, other way around. Depot first. And that way, you're in a competition, right? You're one of six or whatever. But anyway, and then you drop, if you can drop off the one first that came from the hidden container, like this was Foothill, then even though it came from the hidden container, you get a license for coming in first. I don't know if that's a bug or if they designed it that way. That's how it works. So if you've got two different containers, if you've got two different loads, I mean, one's from the hidden container, one's from a depot, if you hit drop off the hidden one first, you, can, you get a license, which is nice. I don't think it really matters if you're actually in first place on the other load either. Okay, see that hey buddy pull over? That is this guy right here, probably. Oh great. Time for this. Thankfully he flipped too, so anyway. There he is, now he's shooting. The guy with the big overhead lights and the off-road truck. Yeah, that's the mafia. There's another one. Those are land mines. Good job. Thankfully I know where my free repair is. I usually go around them, but I'm you know, running for bullets. You can see the bullets hit the ground. But yeah, that's the Mafia. If you stop or get flipped over or whatever and give them a chance, they will steal your car. Considering that we're making another 19000 on this, we don't want that. And this is why we get bulletproof cars. Because unlike the cops where you can just stop and, let's see, hey, I just hired him. Sorry, that was quick, but bullets. But uh, anyway, unlike the cops where you can just stop and get your ticket, if you stop with these guys, they steal your loads. So. And see the cop? Oh, great. Oh, the, the cop's going to pull me over now for hitting the, the guy trying to rob me. Isn't that nice? Wow. So, you definitely need bulletproof glass. My lights are on. Okay. That's, that's the lesson there. No question, you need bulletproof glass. Also, kind of a running joke already. Did I look at the clock before I started recording? No. Oh. I could at least count the songs. Yeah, that would help. Sorry, there's not much uh, selection of music going on, but I don't have a whole lot of music in MP3 format, and that I'm worried about what might get flagged for copyright, so there's not much. Yeah, this video might come out a little short. So, I'm not 
sure my time. Well, I'll run around until I hire another driver because I'll probably be able to. No, I won't. That cash is pretty thin. That last guy strapped me pretty good, huh? That DAF that I hired. Yeah, DAFs are pretty expensive, I guess. Oh, I saw those landmines at least. Thankfully, the only thing you ever haul out of Greystone, or at least from the depot, is uh, carbon, which is like carbon, I think it's supposed to be carbon diamonds, you know, industrial diamonds. That's why it's always worth a lot. But thankfully, uh, they're not too breakable, so even though I hit landmines and crabs, they're fine. Let's see what we got to hire, even though I know I can't. Okay, Mr. Copper. Yeah. Okay, give me your ticket. Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely not hiring a Kenworth right now. But anyway, right now we really want to just hire container trucks so, because we can switch around it. And, uh, you know, what the heck, let's uh, show that off now. There's the nav vehicle for sale still. Someday. He's still sitting there in Southgate. Oh, oh there's the uh, KMS to hire. That's... Let's switch around. F4, and uh, we've got John with the Gazelle, and Frank, oh, hold on, Frank is the DAF that we just hired. I'll show you on the map. The pink trucks on the map are the are your hired drivers, and the one that's blinking is in the one that's up in St. Helena. I was going to say it's the one that we just hired, but I don't think so. <laughs> Huh. I always thought the one that was blinking is the one that you last interacted with. Oh well. We just hired one by Foothill there, so I'm guessing the one heading up past Foothill to River Valley is Frank with the DAF. Yeah, I hate driving that DAF truck. Let's switch with the Gazelle. And we will uh, repair it up because you can switch with the other trucks and get the upgrades on it. And, uh, since it's like a little tiny van, it's not even really a truck. I, I really hate the gazelles. Um, you don't hear the engine. It's the quiet type of engine. Unless I really pumped up the engine sound, you don't hear it. And um, I, I just hate driving these little things. They don't, they don't control too well. I don't know. Might just be me. Where are we going? Sandy Ranch. And, and this is a good example of when you switch around to another truck, see I'm kind of, well I'm not that far ahead, but they're back in St. Helena and I'm almost up to the Sandy Ranch turn off. But, um, I'm not even going to repair up this truck because hopefully we've got enough money I can find a different container truck to buy and switch it out. I'll buy a new container truck because I really hate these gazelles. They're they're tiny. They're not too easy to drive, especially if you do fix them up, then they're just way too fast. Why am I not going? No. And um, you know, they bounce around all over the place. I don't know. So you can so that's a good trick, is you can hire a guy with a gazelle who's cheap because he's just driving around with the little with the little gazelle. And then you switch switch with them and replace the truck for something bigger. Probably the first container truck that I see for sale that's not a gazelle I'm gonna buy. I don't think we could really afford another driver right now anyway. Yeah, well, 45,000 idle cash. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what we got here in Sandy Ridge. A little tiny cube van type thing. A box truck is not even a box truck, it's a van. I just I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'm going all the time now, but we'll, we'll get to Sand Ridge. the 
edge of the bridge, you're flipping into the water and dying. Followed me to the repair station at Greystone and then went into the tunnel. My way. The whole way. I wonder if somebody's playing with me and I don't know. <laughs> Alright, there's another license, even though we can't afford anything right now. That's a freight liner for sale. Or higher either. Back here. Nothing. Alright, let's run up to North Harbor, I guess. But I think that's good for a video right now. I'm pretty sure I'm sure I'm pretty low on that. So I'll see you guys next time where we run up to the North Harbor and see if we can find a truck to buy. Is that the guy we follow through the tunnel? Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.